Hello everybody. This is the Daniel Christensen roller bearing that I made using 3D printing and the designs that were made public to us about two years ago. It was apparently made in about 1937 or so. This is what it looks like. I am just using a piece of paper to help me turn it. And this is what it looks like as it operates from the front. Now, this blue part is just a stand for it, or a mount. It's being held in place by dowels instead of actual bolts. And these bolts here, and of course, on here. But, that's alright, it's just a display model, even though it works pretty good. And it's not using anything like oil, grease, any type of lubricant. And, it's not even a great material, see? It's kind of rough, and despite that, it works really well. And I just think if this were made in metal, it would work extremely well. Here's why. This is the CAD model I made. And without getting too far into it, it basically works by using rollers to separate the rollers. And that's a lot better compared to the normal one because the normal one uses these uh, really lame cage to keep it all separate. It's always rubbing, grinding just to keep these rollers separate in here. Now this one's a lot better because it uses rollers to separate the rollers. That's why you're going to use a roller bearing in the first place, because rolling is a lot better than sliding friction. And that those rollers are held in place to prevent them from falling out of line with a type of collar. This one happens to have spokes in it to allow you to see it in operation, like I have here. And you can see it. See the rollers while, while it goes. Or it can just be just a flat plate like like that and taking it apart further this is just the stand take that off it has a rubber sleeve on it uh, for more kind of vibration damping the external uh, enclosure has two parts that fits in there like that um, it has an oil reservoir this thing has to have holes in it and it re-lubricates um, kind of complicated not going to get too far into it um, the whole thing is held in place by using semi-spherical nuclear flanges and that prevents these rollers from going up and down simply because they roll in this mechanism and it's, it rolls smoothly and prevents it from going up or down. And um, that's the internal sleeve. has the same kind of knuckle. And these two screws are actually, it's actually two different screws. The one goes in the other and they thread into the base. That's about it. Um, ask me anything. I'm taking suggestions on what to do with the roller bearing next. Ask me anything. I like what I'm doing here. It's a lot of fun. Talk to me about it. Thanks.